What's up, fellow Clashers? It's Apollyon here bringing you the latest Clan War recap from WHF Rising against Mawar Bodas. And um, really a lot closer than it should have been. Uh, you can see that we won with stars and with total destruction, but very close, 82 to 81. Um, both clans use almost all their attacks, so props to both of them. Uh, Marwar is uh, 106 wars won, and um, from, I, guess, I don't know, international, I don't know where they're from, but uh, I was not in this war, so, but props to them for the, the attempt and the challenge, and uh, we've got our 10 war, 10 war win streak going on right now. So, let's go ahead and jump into these. I'm going to do a Town Hall 9 and 8 recap in one video, just because... Uh, there just weren't too many good attacks to show. Um, I'm going to focus on the good ones and maybe possibly do a fail attack. As you can see, uh, I'll go back to theirs, what they did to us. Oh, two starred almost everything. Very, very few three stars on a Town Hall 9s. And then Town Hall 8s were pretty much taken care of, so that's good. But um, on ours, I mean, one, two, three, four, five. five the top five bases were only two starred, which is not very good. And I think some of the percentages were even worse, 52%. Uh, so that's barely a two-star. 61% is barely a 53%. Uh, so, again, it's not picking on anybody. It's just, you know, we need to do better. Uh, those, those percentages were, if we would have, you know, gone against a, a better clan or somebody that might have been able to three-star a little bit more, we would have lost. And if we were going against percentage, we pr probably would have lost there as well. So, anyway, let's go ahead and jump into the Town Hall 9 and Town Hall 8 attacks. And since we had problems with our top five, we're going to start with number six, which is a Go Va Ho. And I'm starting to see that most of our Town Hall 9 attacks... Uh, even in WHF2, is going to be uh, Govalo, uh, Govaho. It's just the new, you know, the, what, what Supercell has changed. It makes a lot of sense, especially bringing uh, Valkyries from the clan castle. Uh, those Valkyries have an extra 400 hit points, or 300. I think it's 400, though. Uh, it's either 300 or 400 extra hit points than the level 3 ones do. So uh, it's a huge difference. They are super fast. They hit super hard, and it just makes a huge difference. So we've already sent in our Shattered Entry with the Val Valkyries. They've taken out the Queen already. It's time to start sending in the Hogs, and we're going to go ahead and send them. We've got uh, buy Teslas up top and bottom, and uh, sends that Giant in to kind of tank for those Hogs. And we're using clockwise type of surgical deployment. We have one more heal left but we have no more hogs to deploy. So we've got to be very picky. He lets those hogs kind of die. Uh, they hit the giant bomb because he wants the, the hogs to go ahead and run through the other giant bomb, uh, the double giant bomb set, with a standing in a heel. So they do, and they're going to take care of the rest of these defenses. They've got a wizard tower and an archer tower to take care of next. And then we're all finished here. So we're in cleanup. Uh, he has a queen up, and uh, the king is down but that's fine. He's got a couple goblins that are running around trying to get to that town hall, but they're not going to be able to in time, and we're going to get to a three-star right here. All right, uh, number eight. Let's check out Supa doing another go Vaho. And I think I've actually started, uh, which I probably didn't uh, focus on on the other WHF2 recap, I think I'm starting to use golems, uh, two level four golems, and bringing three level four uh, Valkyries in my clan castle instead of a max golem because of that big, huge difference in hit points uh, that the Valkyries lo from level three and four have. So uh, it's just my preference. We'll see how things pan out. It's been working for me. Uh, Lava Hound in the clan castle is going to do nothing to those Valkyries, and uh, we have a jump that's thrown in there. And... Uh, uh, rage to go ahead and rage them up so they're going to go ahead and tear through a lot of this base and a very nice heal they will get aggro on that queen in just a second and uh there we go though there that queen goes down quicker than you could even see them get to her so um it's very very nicely done we've got the uh 
Archer Queen taking care of that the Lava Hound and the Clan Castle, breaking it up into pups. Those pups are becoming quite a nuisance to all the other stuff in there. Uh, they do a certain, a decent amount of damage to those hogs, but uh, we've got plenty of hogs to make it through a lot of uh, the, a lot of the uh, rest of the base. And uh, that last heal is going to cover them within these couple of point defenses and uh, splash damage. So, uh, but that, that, those uh, pups are definitely doing damage to these hogs. So we've got to have that super queen come in here and take care of them. She gets aggro on those pups. There we go. The archers and the queen take care of them. And now we're smooth sailing from here in cleanup mode. And we have nothing else to worry about as we hit a giant bomb but they make it through all right i think unfortunately that's it there there isn't too much of a star, uh, star shining in this war as far for, as far as town hall uh, uh, nine attack so let's jump into number 15 and we're going to go ahead and look at a goho here and i think a ling gets uh, six star but i'm not completely sure um, does the lure with the hound or the hog rider? So let's go ahead and send a poison wizards and barbarians to kill this, and we're all finished there. And we've got a cold blooded or one golem uh, entry coming in here with wizards to go ahead and funnel three wall breakers to break into this, and uh, they do get uh, sniped, but one of them gets sniped by that. Uh, cannon, but the other one does make it in so very nicely done sending in uh, uh, Bringing three wall breakers there and a P.E.K.K.A. is thrown in from the clan castle So the king is set behind wizards are trailing all of them and we're ready to go ahead and get some damage and and uh, Crush this base has the hogs jumping in a very nice uh, side From the bottom while that kill squad is tanking for them. It's very very smart uh, they do trip a single giant bomb and then make their way into the core and uh, have some hogs trailing them. But we have two more heals left over after that uh, first heal is dropped and still a bunch of hogs riding around, running around the bases or riding around the bases. They will uh, be uh, hit a giant bomb coming out of a heal, so not the best heal placement or timing for that, but that's fine. He has another heal, and we still have one more left over. So we have tripped all three giant bombs. So at this point, it's just gravy, and uh, they they need just to make it through the rest of these uh, defenses, which they do. And now we are on cleanup. So very nice attack. Pekka lives. Some of the hogs live. We have a couple golemites there and wizards on the bottom for cleaning. Just a very nice attack, and a way to get those three stars. Sixteen. We saw it on our last video. And we're going to show it again. I'm going to show it because we keep crushing it different ways. This one is the Kyoki, and we're going to beat it with a Go Vaho within under two minutes. So you know what? Forget the lure. We're just going to go ahead and start dropping the Golem in there. And uh, the Wizard's go ahead, going to go ahead and funnel. So we've got everything going. Very nice use of, of look at those archers on those, bar, those builder huts. That's exactly what you want to do. Perfect. Quad quakes into the core. And we've got four Valkyries uh, of, of, uh, of his own, and um, I think three more from the clan castle, but we'll have to see if it was uh, Valks or if it was Hogs. Tier 1 uh, clan castle is going to be difficult to deal with. There we go. Valkyries are late to the party, sends them in, and that's why they're kind of running around wherever they want to go. Send those clan castle Valks in a lot earlier. They'll take care of that. Uh, the other clan castle, the enemy clan castle mobs, but um, these Valkyries will just start running around. What do we got? We've got uh, the most of the core taken out. We've got five more hogs that are still available to be deployed, but waiting very patiently for that kill squad to make it down to the bottom, of which there really isn't any more kill squad. You've got those Valkyries or a Valkyrie from the clan castle that are still uh, crushing through things and I think something tells me they're going to make it through the rest of the raid because there are no more defenses So the hogs uh, uh, only about four or five hogs left But those Valkyries are those max Valkyries are full and they're going to help with that cleanup. So nicely done Just deploy those Valkyries a lot earlier All right number 17 
We're going to do a mass hog here. Ziggy's going to go ahead and take care of this, uh, you know, common base with the core of uh, all the mortars in there and uh, most of the air defenses. Up oh, hole in the base. We got a hole in the base with, I think, uh, maybe it is the double giant bomb spot or maybe it's just one giant bomb. I don't know. I only saw one go off there. So we've tri tripped the clan castle and we're going to go ahead and pull it up to the top. Drops of poison, barbarians and wizards. Everything's going down, and we're going to deploy the hogs now in a counterclockwise measure. But really, the goal is trying to funnel them in through the core. So it's not going to be a complete counterclockwise surgical. As soon as he gets this in, they're all going to start rushing into the core, and he can start deploying the hogs in from the different sides because they're, they are going to go straight to that core as well. So heals that first uh, um, set of hogs. And uh, we'll have two more heals left over as they're making their way through this core. And uh, then drops the rest of the hogs there. Still, I don't think he's deployed his king yet. Drops that last hog wherever those defenses are. Very nice. There's only one Tesla to worry about outside of this heal. And that air defense is going to do nothing. So we've got that. Uh, we've got king on king. Enemy king is going to go down because that wizard is going to help him out. And that's all finished, and now we're in cleanup mode. So very nice, good attack, and um, just way to have patience with those heals. So Ziggy getting it done. I think we saw a six-star war from Ziggy. Last one, number 22, another holo, a reverse holo. What is a reverse holo? Well, we call it, we could call it a loho, I guess, and it wouldn't be reverse, but uh, hogs and loons, and you're sending the loons in first. So instead of what you normally happens when you uh, send all your hogs, get to the core, take out the uh, air defenses, and then the loons are sent on the back end to kill all those defenses, this time we're doing something a little differently because everything is so far out. He's got a lot of cannons and ground point defenses that can be taken out very cheaply with these uh, loons so these hogs are going to be able to get into that core very very simple and very efficiently still has five more loons left over and a bunch of hogs we have not tripped the clan castle but we have taken care of one third of the base already as far as defenses that one solo hog will run in there grab the clan castle aggro and then we'll start anchoring down. We can pretty much take a pick of where we want to anchor since all the defenses are gone. And then we're going to do poison, wizards, and barbarians. Drops a giant. Very nicely done to tank for those last a couple of air uh, archer towers. Gives them just a couple more seconds to get in there. And they will take care of that. Uh, as soon as they start making their way to the core, those air defenses will have their way with them and completely crush them. So we still have one more uh, loon but we have a bunch of hogs that are making their way through the core and three heals to keep those hogs alive. All they have to do is pretty much make it through this core, which is not going to be a problem uh, with three heals left or two heals left, three heals total. And will that, that uh, loon make it with, before getting shot down? One, two, no, no, doesn't make it. But uh, we're almost in cleanup mode here. Let's go ahead and fast forward things. They take out that Tesla air defense and then they're gonna go focus on those skelly traps. And I don't think they're gonna even be able to take out that king yet. They're not gonna be able to. So it's up to the friendly king to take him out, which he will do right here with the help of a wizard that's no longer with us. And uh, then we're gonna clean up that last building and it's all finished. So again, apologies for the quick recap. Just not too many bases that were really that good for us to attack. Um, you know, it's, it was a lot of uh, forum bases and internet bases. And the, even those we didn't attack very well at Town Hall 9 level. So hopefully you guys were able to take these attacks, take the compositions, take the spells, and get the timing and uh, the deployments down. Practice, get those six-star clan wars, and practice those three-star attacks.